Welcome to Stave Draws. This is the Manual of Procreate. Part 25. Freehand Selection. Section 2. Advanced Selections. Once you're familiar with the basics of Procreate's Freehand Selection tool, check out this section to give you even more control over your artwork. Add to your selection. You can add extra shapes to your selection by using the Add icon on the side toolbar. Each time you tap Add, the area inside the dashed line will be added to the current selection. Subtract from selection. You can cut away shapes from your selection by using the Subtract icon on the side toolbar. Each time you tap Subtract, the area inside the dashed line will be subtracted from the current selection. If they are overlapping it will appear to cut a chunk out of your selection. Clear a selection. While in selection mode tap the X icon on the bottom toolbar to clear your current selection. If you have a mask, diagonal lines on canvas, beneath a non-committed selection dashed outline Tapping Clear will remove the non-committed selection first. Tapping Clear again will clear the mask leaving you with no selection. Undo a mistake. You can also use the Undo and Redo buttons to go back many steps to fix up selection if necessary. When using the selection tool in a polygon fashion, each undo will go back one tap. Invert. At any time you can invert a selection by tapping the invert icon on the side toolbar. You will notice that the diagonal lines displaying your mask area will swap from inside to outside, or vice versa, to indicate which area is now protected. Preloading a mask. You can reload your last used selection with a tap and hold on the selection icon. Reloading your last used selection will also activate selection mode. From here you can add or subtract from your selection if you wish. Select layer contents. Use any existing layers pixel data to make a selection. By using the select layer contents feature from the layers details menu, you will select any painted pixel from that layer. Procreate then activates selection mode, giving you the same options as other selections. Using select layer contents will reference transparency on the current layer, which can be great for feathering effects. Adjusting the selection mask UI. Tucked away in actions, prefs, you will find a setting to adjust the selection mask visibility. Adjusting the slider will change the strength of the selection mask pattern, so you can get it just the way you like it. If you want to know more about Procreate, just visit my playlist, and the playlist has all the topics about Procreate.